versus Hideaway and Balloon Boy, mostly because of Hideaway. Hideaway, whoever he's teamed with, whether it be Anime or whoever else, he's been making it in the top threes. He was having a really good time with Snowy, who, as of recently, we just started teaming with right. Balloon And Balloon Boy has been like, who people have been talking about for a long time to be one of the best players in the game, and then always just busters out before really getting into that that, that win yep. for this champion. The community tournaments always look really great, but in the officials, he's yet to do it. So this is really cool seeing them get into this top eight here. And we'll see how they're able to hang against Truck Stop and Guichibu, of course. I mean, granted, we did get to see a bit of them earlier on the winner's side of bracket, but could not quite hang with some of the demons up there. And we'll see if they're able to kind of hang against Balloon Boy and Hideaway. I mean, Guichibu, always phenomenal on the Lin Fen, right? Really weird, always tries to make the guitars work. You can see the first Fall happened there as. Guichibu is the Lin Fei player. Yeah. I don't think any other region has it. Um, I think someone experimented with Lin Fei once and they were like, whoa, nine decks makes recovery, recovery, true on guitars at like low damage. And then that's like, that's all they've ever really thought about. Um, so really interesting to see Guichibu succeed in the in, in the two space here with Truck Stop getting into this top eight because I was like, yeah, if Guichibu's doing this, he's not the kind of player that has a different character for a different game mode. You're just, this is the only character I've ever seen him play for years. Um, Truck Stop, on the other hand, is doing the, the EU staple of playing Ogre when they're doing so well with it. Oh no, can he make it back? He gets stared at the wall again. Uh, that's going to be Highway's first stock here, but Red Team's been very dominant this entire time. So far, I mean, Truck Stop tries to get that first stock with that side air. It's not going to be enough. Maybe one more. Whoa, what a weird way to get that down. So, I like the movement there. Definitely Balloon Boy did not see that one coming. But we'll see just kind of how long things stay this way as Guichibu does end up losing that stock. The second time there. that he's been falling with sweat beads like that. Yeah. Mm. Maybe trying to go a little bit too ham off stage, but I, I get it. You have guitars, it's twos, and like, ooh, hold on, this is a good, wow, nice follow from Truck Stop there. Can we keep Hideaway in the corner? Nice attempt with an air from Guichibu. Hideaway still hasn't made it back onto the stage. Truck Stop goes for a Hail Mary, it doesn't work. Oh, Guichibu trying to get the edge guard there with that recovery. Oh okay, ground pound coming oh up. My oh my god. Oh, I thought he was the wall. He had that dodge at the very end there, he manages to make it back. Um, it, it's a it's an interesting game state. If Guichibu plays this last stock perfectly, I can see this going uh, pretty well into Blue Team's favor here. If they can take down Hideaway, get the edge guard onto Balloon Boy. Now things are looking a little rough. Okay, avoid that side air. Let's see, whose stock's gonna fly first? It's gonna be Truck Stops or Hideaways. Oh, he, he like went into position for that recovery, but then hit it. Okay, now side light. I like it. Gets the gravity cancel. Balloon Boy gets a little bit of friendly fire there, but also does hit Gucci in the process. That was like kind of worth it. Light and Air is gonna go ahead and take that stock away. I think the answer is Truck Stop is going to fall first. Gucci is also pretty hurt now at this point as well. So I want to see what Gucci is able to do before losing this final stock here, as we watch Hideaway also fall down to the final stock. Nair hits. Dash jumps with that side air. Oh, oh clash with the ground honestly. pound, but it's like actually the best case scenario for Balloon Boy. I think so. Yeah. Because he didn't have a dodge. And then he was able to get back to the stage right afterwards. That recovery's not going to knock him out. He's miraculously still recovering. Finally goes down. Okay. It's a close game in numbers. Team combo goes for the neutral signature. Ooh, oh. Decides to get to catch up with it. It gets punched by the D-Light Nair. That was, that was their opportunity to win. Yeah, and it's like, it was a cool setup as well, right? It's like, how are you going to team combo with guitars? And they found a way to do it with Lin Fei and Algrim, right? Just well, get that almost found a way. The yeah. fact that it didn't convert means that. I don't even know if I the idea... I just think the timing was off. Oh, you think so? Yeah, because I mean, no matter what, right? Ogrim and Sig is going to hit you into the stage, so you just have to make sure you time the hitbox of that side Sig, right? Oh, oh. the grab pound hits! And you recover? Hideaway and Gucci now have the same amount of damage. What the heck? Oh, the oh. weapon throw saves him. Oh. Goes for the neutral end of recovery, but he dodges away, goes for no the ground pound. No way you went for ground pound. I mean, uh, who was going to expect it? What, what does he do here? Down Sig? Goes for that dash jump. Oh. No, that is a Gucci classic. He does dash jump, fastball, pivot recovery to try to catch people going onto the stage. So like, like normally, and this is just a guitar player thing in general. Yes. You right, right across the wall, you can also catch them going back onto the stage. It's just he he went for so many like preemptive options in this edge guard here, right? Like we we didn't get, a, get to catch it there, but that ground pound, we were both like, whoa, ground yeah. pound, and that dash jump recovery was similar energy where he was just kind of like. Hope this hits. <laughs> and, and it was like a little bit of a timing thing too, right? Because he dodged into the stage, mm -hmm. but like early enough that the recovery didn't connect. But it was like, who's to say if like that dodge timing was a little bit off, if we two wouldn't have been able to tag him before he was able to get far enough away. But it was, as you said, very preemptive, right? Like there is a degree of like being in that position where it's like, Three, you can two, just like wait on the one, stage and try to react wrong. to something if you want. But sometimes you just think you got the read, right? Especially after you, have, okay, maybe we're running this from back. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, yeah. that was early enough. That was really it. Wait, truck stop, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> that was, 
you, you, you should, um, yeah, so if you if you lose your stock within the first 10 seconds of the yes. match, then you can get that, that reset to go on through here. So that's what they're going to do. Um, and then we'll be going into the next game in just a little bit. Uh, I, I lost the train of thought of what you were saying before that game started. I oh, know, we were just talking about Reach of Edge Guards. And, oh, you know. yeah, and how they were preemptive. Yes. Because like, a, a thing that can help you with the Edge Guards in Brawlhalla is that, like, you exercise a little bit of that patience. You know that that wall slip is going to start activating. And if they are hanging on the ledge long enough to where you're not reacting to an option that they're doing, then you'll have a general idea of when they're going to run out of jumps and have to come back to stage, right? Yes. Um, and he it didn't feel like he was doing what a lot of players will do, which is like this like back and forth dash dance, slightly away from the wall so they don't get hit by like a gravity cancel signature or something, and then wait out the amount of touches that they do on the wall before going for their edge guard. He just jumped out there and... Did it. Yeah, like no, yeah. not not even like a, a baby dash dance in a dash no ground pound, mm -hmm. just like went for it. And like what happens and what works a lot too is like sometimes you do that little dash dance and then you dash jump Three, and then you two, dash land in the one, other direction. Wall. So there's no yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. You like facing forward and then dash land back. Yeah, and you like just to see if they're reacting. And you to your scare movement. them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but like, I just I get the moment was just so tense because they were behind that entire game. It's awesome. hard to do in the in the heat of the moment. So let's see what he's able to do. That double recovery there is so favorable for Linfei because of that. Uh, of that high deck, uh, that you get a lot more damage out of those situations. Ground Pound brutalizing Hideaway. Their recovery takes okay. off the top. That's such an early stock for Onyx. Yeah, no, honestly, yeah. I mean, that looked phenomenal. The kind of team synergy that we saw from Truckstop and Weechibu looked really strong for that moment. I'm wondering if they continue that momentum here as it looks like Balloon Boy and Hideaway are having a little bit of a struggle trying to regain their footing here in the neutral game. They're trying to get that stage control, but Weechibu, ooh, wow, that anti air was sick. That was like a perfectly timed end light on that down air. It's like such a bow thing to do there. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And now, oh, that edge card was like, I was all Balloon Boy, and then one ground pound comes through, and Guichibu's able to take the lead there. Hideaway trying to get something started with the side line, gets the recovery after chasing his jumps, but Guichibu with the cannon, one Sarah there could be great. I think he was starting a ground pound, and then Hideaway just went high and hit that side air himself to be able to interrupt it, but they were both sweating for a moment. I love that chase dodge up after the air to avoid the blast from Guichibu, but Hideaway cutting through, gets his own recovery, but look at how damaged he is here on that second stock. Okay, side light and air. It's not going to lead to much more here. Guichibu goes for an end stick. It's not going to connect with anything. There we go. Nice little just drag across the screen there on a truck stop. They can't get the final blow, though. You can tell they really wanted that. Recovery's not going to be enough. Balloon Boy's probably still going to shark here for a little bit. And target swap with the Guichibu, then go right back to truck stop. And we haven't seen Balloon Boy actually press an attack in a while. That side light's going to be the first one. Just trying to be careful, I guess. There's Balloon Boy covering the land. He's down the neutral lights again. It's a side light. Goes in for that neutral signature, trying to catch a spot dodge. Guichibu manages to make it back, and Truck Stock goes up in the air. They're both landing at the same time. Hideaway doesn't get a side air, and no starter with that down light. Side light, Nair waits for the dodge down. Hideaway finally takes down Guichibu. Let's see what Truck, Stock, Truck Stock's able to do here on his second stock. Will he go down first, or will Balloon Boy? Weapon Toss goes down. Another on recovery. Still not enough. It's probably going to be enough. Maybe a weapon throw. No, we don't see one. So Truck Stop will actually be able to get an exhausted recovery off of Pretty cool. Bo, and that's like the most. Dodge. That you never like, see that. That's the only way that he could like have done that like gracefully. Yeah. Wow. Nice that makes it back and he's holding onto the stock. He, gets a, he takes a stock with that recovery, and then the neutral light comes through. He's still making the stock count. Let's Ground pound? Good. No, goes for the weapon oh, throw instead. So yeah, trying to beat out a cannon side air unarmed can be pretty tough if you're not high enough above it. Your toes just kind of get caught. Oh, and then the dare comes through. Truck stop finally goes down to Guichibu has to run for his life. Okay, Hi, avoids the careful. nares. Oh, but that side thing. Oh, he just barely avoided oh. spiking. Oh, that's not enough to KO. Hideaway, though, can take probably one more down to from Ulgrim. Balloon Boy has to play point. Ooh, hideaway landing. Sider hits. Weapon throw comes down. Guichibu looking for a new weapon. Balloon Boy gets hit by that neutral light. Oh, this is tense. And they're separated as well. Oh, slide charges could be the turnaround that they need. You can see Hideaway He caught understands. the cannon. I can't believe it. I thought he was gone for oh, no, no truck stop. But the exhausted recovery into the strong one. He's now in a 1v2 after taking down his teammate. But it's so doable. I mean, all the craziness really? here is like dash jump, gravity cancel, oh, side stick. He lived. I can't believe it with that. That angle was like almost perfect. He's gonna probably do maybe another. Oh, that Sarah's was great. I'm kidding. Okay. Now in the one we went against Balloon Boy. Side light, waits for the dodge in, goes with the end light, but he gets dribbled off the ground. Side light, waits out the dodge nice in, gets in there. Side air, okay, recovery could not have here. Dodge back, oh, he doesn't press the button. The weapon throw after the dare. Is that gonna be it for truck stop? That side light is the stage. Okay, cool. and 
I, I, I'm scared. It was too ambiguous, I feel I like. I don't think so. It no, was no. not. It was not. It was not. Do you think it was just it was just for style then? I don't know. That side light was like awesome. It was it cool. Was, it, was. it was cool. Hold on, we'll, we'll see. He here, played this right? one okay, cool. So this, here's the dodge. He got and the, dodge the timer and... starts, right? Yeah. And so like, all right, if you just hit him here correctly, he can't do anything about it. Here, I think he should have the dodge back by now. Yeah. But he doesn't press it, and then now he's forced to use it early and to try to get it back. And then he dodges it early. Gets hit by, there's no way he's gonna make it back. Right? Let's, he see. Let's, the see. Let's see. Uses the recovery. Dodges straight Actually, up. Actually, no. Uh, you know what? You know what? No, I give it up. He the, was gonna make it. He was gonna make it. The drift was there. He was gonna make it. He was gonna make it. I think Boy was optimal. I am wrong. It was optimal. He was gonna make it. Which is really, really it. sick because the, the situation that Balloon Boy was in, because he, he had crossed Truck Stop yes. up, I think that was the only thing he could have done that had the knockback in that way, because Sidelight Knockback is so fixed at that uh, at that damage range. Um, it was just a really creative option to do off of a really well-played 1v1, because that was we only saw the first of two dodge-in reads on the bow side light, right? Because yes. there's two things you could do with bow side light. You could be like, I'm going to go for my one frame follow up and go side light, D light, neutral light, side light, D light recovery. But in both times, Balloon Boy went for side light and it was like, okay, he's been dodging in a lot. And he got him on the first dodge in and on the second dodge in, he literally won the game. Yeah, and it was really interesting uh, the option he decided to go for because a lot of the times you'll see like, oh, he's dodging in. Sometimes you can like, back up and then delight the dodge in, or you can just back step side light. But he, he jumped nared, yeah. And, and then, then he like went for the recovery. The it didn't land, I don't think, but then he hit him with like a side air afterward, I think, or the, something The like down that. air to the spike. Yes, the down air. Wow, that was... Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, was a com Word. it was a complicated stock because he did he a lot of things well. that bow players normally wouldn't, like punish dodge in with end light or punish dodge in with nair. Um, it was really well played. And now they're going to be going into this next game. Um, what I think... That's a 2-0 lead now after uh, uh, after that, that that first game. So so Hideaway and Balloon Boy doing very well. And I've got production letting me know that it's right behind me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That would make more sense for me to be um, like, wow. Me just trying to like only use my memory for information. It's like it's almost like we give you things. <laughs> it's all around you. No, yeah, that's a, that was a really great lead for them. They're one game away from knocking out Truck Stop and Gucci Boo at seventh. Moving on to, who are they fighting against here? Because this 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 top eight, it gets, okay, so it's gonna be Anime and Dog is the, okay. the team that they would be fighting against this, which would be pretty exciting. Anime and Dog was a team that came together um, oh. at the start of things like years ago, and then Anime started teaming with Hideaway, and that's when it was like crazy, because we were like, who is Hideaway? Where did he come from? Why is he this good at the game? Um, and now he's going to be fighting against basically one of his old previous teammates. I'm like, did I grill Stingray too hard? I really thought they were going to make it to top eight to lose. But now I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh. Oh, they must have got a knife. Must, someone must have taken they were three owning their way. Who, yeah. who took them out? Anonymous Alex and Worthy have been playing really phenomenal. Yeah, and Worthy, yeah. we were talking about before. We were like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we've not really Worthy. seen him in the two places. <laughs> like, Although who? Anonymous Alex had a similar story when he first that came on true. the scene, too. That and, is then, true. and then it was just kind of like, okay, who are you? Oh, mm -hmm. All right, you're going to be in every top 32 from now on. It's like the guy who showed up out of nowhere and the guy who showed up out of nowhere's front. Makes sense. Maybe he showed up out of nowhere because he's friends with Anonymous. Yeah, exactly. Alex, just like it, making new players in the scene. I believe it. It was it was Anonymous Alex and Worthy that knocked okay. him out 3 2. Because that's, yeah, that's why I was looking at that team. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's who they were fighting against. So that's a lot of upsets from Anonymous Alex and Worthy because I think. They also, were, yeah, they're also the reason why Megdi and Radish went down into the elimination Which break. It. Huge right. upset, right? So, so massive. This, that is the most valuable seventh place I think, I think I've ever seen from a twos team, for the teams that they had to beat to get there, beating Cody, Travis, Stingray, Megdi, and Radish. That's that's incredible for a team that's like not seated or thought to have been placed anywhere near the top twelve. But we're getting back into this matchup here. We've been talking a little bit while they were getting themselves set up. We're going into game number three. This is Hideaway and Balloon Boy going up against Truck Stop Burrito and Guichibu. Uh, it's 2-0, so it's match point for the rest of the yes. set. Yes. So you got to win three back to back to three, back mm -hmm. two, if you want to be brawl. in this bracket at all, right? Because we yeah. are on the elimination side of things, so they really have to make this one count. Guichibu and Truck Stop have had, you know, a couple of moments where it looks like, yeah, I think they might be able to get this game. But it's been proven that Balloon Boy and Hideaway Hideaway have just been that little extra bit of clutch. Ooh, down airs oh, into wow, the nice down. Okay, yeah, that dodge that came through, that would have sent him off the stage, but they were able to interrupt it. Nairs in the air, puts out that side signature, but he just gets stopped, and truck stop, man. Uh, too many recoveries have been hitting Guichibu, I've been realizing from the Axe, which is, it's, it's, it's difficult. I would say it's it's Axe's most Lance-like move in the sense that it's just like big in the way, and you yeah. have a chance of hitting your teammate with it if you're just using it to move around, so. 
And Grichmu does tend to be in the air for those recoveries. Look at that, taking that first stock. Doesn't get the side light, but uh, a good start for the blue team once again. Okay, a little bit of a scrap here. We're gonna get the D-Light recovery coming out from Balloon Boy. But with that said, hopefully, hopefully, Gucci Boon Truck Stop can get this one. So far, they're in a really good position to do so, and they continue to add on this pressure. Western Air Temple might be aiding in that as well, giving a little bit more space with the kind of different heights of these platforms right now. But Oh, narrow dodge on that down air there. I thought he had it covered perfectly. Gucci Boon manages to survive just a little bit longer. Let's see if he's able to do anything with the stock. Bounces off the stage, holding on a little bit more. Backswing of the recovery does get a spike, but no, doesn't make it back in. He's low on jumps. Truck Stop does touch the stage. That was like three. Exhausted axe recovery. That was, yeah, that was crazy. And Hideaway, like you can see, kept dashing back, really hoping that he would maybe try to land on the stage, but instead going to the wall for safety. It was a smart play to make. Hideaway wasn't able to get much off of it, but this one looks like oh, Hideaway doesn't get the second ground pound to go ahead and close up the stock of Truck Stop, and instead it's gonna go ahead and combo with his partner, but gets oh. interrupted because Truck Stop was able to get back and drop that side air. Yeah, and now it's a uh, very. <laughs> It is still a pretty good lead for the red team here, considering how much damage is on them. Truck Stop was able to barely hold on, but D-Light recovery means that he's going to go down to his last stock. Cider comes through. That could be Termin stock for Grichibu as well. No, ends up going for oh the Nair comes God. through, and Grichibu just <laughs> trades stock for stock. Absolutely worth it from that deficit. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Grichibu going with the Katara downers, and they were diving all the way into it's the It's not platform. often that you get to see pillar combos like that, but mm -hmm. he actually used the pillar at the bottom of the stage to drag him all the way down to the blast zone. So nicely done by Guichibo, though. And now we've got three stocks to two, where if Hideaway goes down, we're absolutely uh, going to see a game number four. So let's see how this plays out. Okay. Balloon Boy looking for an opening here. Hideaway manages to get a side light. Ah, man, it's so hard not to hit your partner with both side light twos. It is a yeah. really weird move to face out. Yeah, and then when it hits, you're like dedicating that whole animation. Yeah. Uh, because you're talking about like the arrow after it hits. After, you, yeah, you, exactly. You, you, you hit your teammate and then the arrow comes out and you're like, whoops. I didn't mean to extend it that way. Balloon Boy ended up going down. Hideaway goes down. Okay, they've got the, the 1v2 okay. against Balloon Boy once again, but he did win this last time. And Let's see how this plays out. Pretty doable, especially like against a team like this. Setting up the team combos will be difficult, right? And so it's like... If you can get your hits oh, in. Oh, and Truck Stop. A meet. Oh, what a catch. Who sides and catches Truck Stop? He goes he all the way out there. They're going to save each other. Goes for the ground nice. pound. He hits oh, Truck so Stop. Wide. He's got to go one more. Double. Gets it. Avoids oh, the double. end sink. Oh, you're wild. Okay, now you can just play the game for real if you want. Yeah, you just go back on the stage and play it the way you would in 1v1 ranked game, right? Is he going to mix it with the side lights? Do we think is going to dodge in after side light? That's oh, what I wonder. I hope not. <laughs> but that, that's what Balloon Boy's been waiting for. Weapon throw down. Neutral recovery, recovery comes nice. through. One more of those and he's done for. Guichibu could just win the 1v1 outright. You think so on this stage? Would it be oh. enough? Now probably. The ceiling's just so high. Yeah, but it's just that, that the, the move has a little more deceptive power than I thought. He can't get any hits in. Oh, they can't get the bow. But it just arms his guitars. D now the gauntlets range. are picked up. D yeah, D-Light recovery. Dare stuff recovery effects. What is he going to nice. do? Ooh, Dare stuff so recovery. High. He was hoping that was going to win. He's denying him a weapon to Guichibu punches his way through. Oh, the weapon throw spawns on that side. Oh, what? what? He went for the pivot and the neutral air stops it. Oh, he got the D-Light. The oh, Sarah hits nice. and he clutches the 1v2 after truck stop goes down. Balloon Boy can't do it twice in a row. But man, if that's if that's how those one v twos are looking, uh, it's really w what <laughs> the fact that he went for gravity cancel, turn around, side light, is and that, swooped that, under the nair and got hit on the opposite side. Is that what happens? You're gonna see, I think, right here, right? He's like, all right, pick it up, and then he tries to side light and get scooped. He, he, I know he feels wrong. <laughs> that's the kind of replay that I want to like look back at and see how the the hurt boxes work. Right? Yeah. I'm wondering where the gauntlet sideline started, because you're right, he got caught. I didn't see that, because I was like, how did he get sucked into the nair there? He was in the middle of the gauntlet sideline. But, like, the like gauntlet sideline, like, yeah, yeah the, the hitbox on it is actually, like, pretty strange. Like, it feels like a massive move when you're fighting against gauntlet players, uh -huh. but then in actuality, it's, like, not that big. And so, like, when you swoop in for the sideline, it's, like, what you get hit by most of the time is at the end. Wow. Yeah. Um... He's got to be feeling a little robbed after that one. Damage graph coming oh up my there. Gosh. Hideaway did not have the greatest game. Yeah, Hideaway. Who? Uh, luckily, they've got three games to play with. That's one gone. Two more left to go uh, to potentially knock out their opposing team here. Uh, well played by Guichibu and Truck Stop. And if Balloon Boy keeps getting put into these uh, 1v2 scenarios, I could see them continuing to go forward with this reverse 3-0. But I wouldn't expect Hideaway to be getting cooked that much every single game. I yeah, think that I was agree. an exception there on Western Air Temple. And I don't Probably think they're going to go back. Probably never going back there. Yeah, we're um, going to find out right now. Looking at the bands, they did take it out. it out. 
And so it's going to be either uh, Apocalypse or Fortress of Lions, almost, almost definitely. We haven't seen too much Demon Island. Yeah, that, Demon Island would be wild, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's where Guichibu and Truck Stop want to go, just because it seems like... Of how like the edge guards are working? How the edge guards are working, but just how different it is for everything else. I feel like Western Air Temple was the first map that they picked that was like pretty obviously different from everything they had played on thus far, mm -hmm. that if they wanted to make that choice, they could. But I didn't actually end up seeing... Where did they end up picking? They, they ended up going Fortress of Lions. They did end up yeah, going... Okay. So. Okay, so, you know, wow, so surprising and... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think the one thing that I noticed that like, Witch was comfortable with is having the pillar at Three, the bottom of the stage. Two, so when true. it comes to Apoc or Fortress of Lions, we've seen that he's got setups for if he catches people underneath the stage that they can't run away from him. And his guitar's off stage. He's shown he's willing oh. to trade the stock, right? Um, not a lot of guitar players are willing to trade the Whoa. stock like that. Sorry, I just saw a moment there. I was like, are they about to start this team combo off stage? <laughs> it looked really wild, but did not quite go the way I had maybe hoped it would. But yeah, let's see what Truck Stop and Weechibu were able to do here. I mean, they were able to get one game, so that's good for them. Balloon Boy and Hideaway, of course, not one to give them oh. any other. What a save, is, right? That was a save. That was a, that was a save. Um, it was a save, and he, got very, and he got very lucky that the angle of knockback uh, Hideaway wasn't able to track because he managed to not get caught by that recovery at the very end. Now Truck Stop covering his head with Nairs, Hideaway just keeping him off the side of the stage while Balloon Boy fights Weechibu on the right. Um, and they target, they focus their fire over onto Truck Stop, and they just can't get these hits to connect. And, Blue team might be able to take the first stock here. What a crazy scrap off the left side of the stage. Let's see. Wow, Truck Stop burns a dodge here, but it's going to eat a punish. And that side sig from Lin Fan Guitars is like so massive, just as far as like where she starts and where she ends. It's really easy to get sucked into if you don't wait out the animation. Yeah, a lot of Lin Fei's weaknesses are shored up in doubles as long as you can set it up. We, we, we talked a little bit about like with Queen Nine, yes. a similar situation. Um, and we haven't seen too many team combos where it's resulted into landing into that side thing. We've seen them try. Yes. Um, but I would like to see a little bit more of that. Down to comes through. Dragon does not bite Hideaway's first stock away. Nurk is continuing to do one blast at a time. There's the Nair. Down to yep. does finally catch him. And that double knockout goes over to the blue team. Okay, we should be playing phenomenally. Truck stop waiting in the back here just to apply some assistance here. Boyan gets a read on the dodge, and that Ooh. could be the stock. Did a lot of damage here. Hideaway the clash, trade, has a side the air, gets hit again, has to say her again. Hideaway down at the same oh, amount of damage again. Oh, he's fast Blue boy spell. misses the save. Yeah, that was hard. It's hard to know that your partner's going to fastball right there when you're going to hit them, right? He zips right by. Yeah, and that's, I said that the same thing that happened last game wouldn't happen again, and it just did, right? That's going to be another flip on the graph where Hideaway wasn't able to play. Same case for Truck Stop, though. This is a very interesting game state. Four yeah. stocks to three, but it's all loaded on one player on each team. We, we might get a two stock versus two stock one v one. Yeah, no, I'm just like ah. Oh. Uh, if it comes down to a one v one with Guichibu and Balloon Boy, it looks like Guichibu is in so it far. Right now. Yeah, so far has the track record of success. Delight yeah. Recovery takes them both off to the top of the stage. Down tick here could take down Hideaway. Has to use that uh, dodge. Sweats back to the stage and no, still living. Careful here, Guichibu trying to get a weapon right now. <gasps> the That's dunk? Be a dunk. You're kidding me. It's three stocks to two. That, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Three stocks on one player to the, the two of the other opponents. That's this is weird. Yeah, very is very weird, strange. I, I think this is like like in theory, right? This like appears even. Obviously, red team has the advantage oh. because of the fact that there's two of them. Yeah. But it has to do this landing. Recovery comes oh, through. It. That was destruction. That's that, unfortunate. Yeah, that can't, I cannot believe that. He did, Gucci got knocked into the sky once and could not touch the stage. It was just recovery after recovery. If Gucci got to, oh my god. Oh my god. It's sent down. Dare? I guess. I guess can't get a weapon. Gauntlets can't. What, what did Gauntlets have left without recovery? And Aaron Dare both sent down. Yeah, it's true, right? At that point, you just try to pass. Oh, stuff recovery yeah. here. Okay. I would just have to back off and let them one v one. What do you do? Gravity cancel side sig. I don't like like and just hope that somebody dodges incorrectly. I don't know. <laughs> he, 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 he's he's trying to catch these low to the ground dares. Nice. One nair comes through, or one neutral light. And now if you're here, you're just balloon boy. You wait patiently, and then you just try to get enough damage on Gucci that he gets this arm. Silent air, nice down combo. light, down air. That might be too much. Ground pound comes through. That was Hideaway overextending oh, a little bit. Nice. Beautiful. Hideaway's playing this perfectly, I would say. Got caught Ooh. here. Trade's Ooh. worth. They're both flying around. Okay. They managed to avoid everybody. Dodges out of the way of that silent recovery. Weapon toss stops Balloon Boy from doing anything else, but they're continuing to starve. Gucciboo, I mean... I don't know uh, if he gets another weapon. I, I almost get to the gravity cancel. D-Light Nair in the middle of the sky. Red Perfectly team. played from the red team. Craziest game state I've ever seen. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen something like that where the swing has been so, like, heavily stacked on either players, right? Like... And Truck Stop did 
damage that game. I have seen lower damage numbers from a... 420 is not bad, a, like it, at all. Th 391 damage over the course of, of, of those three stocks is like, okay...